Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 RPG series. In today's video, we are going to be showing you how to set up a weapon for your character. So what I mean by that is we've got a sword based melee combat character in our game, but he's just running around with empty hands at the moment. We're going to be showing you how you can spawn a weapon into his hand. So you can see here in my viewport, we're just literally just a character running around. He's holding his hand like he's holding a weapon, but there's nothing there. So what we need to do and what we'll be doing in today's video is setting up a socket for that weapon, adjusting it to make sure all the blade spawns in properly and also spawning in a blueprint class which contains the weapon and all of that good stuff. So what we're going to do then is start on the positioning of the sword and the socket first so that the engine knows where to spawn it in. And the way that we're going to do this is all inside of our character. So what we've got to do if we go over to our sword character folder and then just go ahead and open up your skeleton. The reason why we're in the skeleton is because we want to add a socket to one of the bones. And then this socket is pretty much going to be where we're telling the engine to spawn this weapon and we're going to be playing around with the location, rotation and the scale of the socket to make sure that our weapon spawns exactly where and how it needs to be. So what we're going to do then is figure out which bone we want to put it in and being a sword we're going to put it into the right hand, uh, the right hand. so just go ahead and click on the right hand and you'll see it selects the right hand socket on the left here. What we want to do with this is turn it into a socket that we can adjust. So add a socket, just right click right hand, add socket, and then just call this weapon hold. And then what we're going to do to make sure that we can be a bit more accurate with the scale and we know exactly how the weapon is going to spawn, add a preview asset. And the asset that we're going to use is going to be called uh, Black Knight and it's this one here. Now for those of you that don't have this sword already, just go to your marketplace, get the Infinity Blade weapons pack and then just add this to your project and then you'll be able to use it. There is something like 30 different weapons that you can use in there and we can use this uh, stuff all for our RPG project. Anyway, so with this in our you know scene here with our character, what we've got to do now then is pretty much rotate this blade uh, to make sure that it goes in the hand. Now, with the hand being in this position, just the character being static, we don't know which way we should be displaying it. So what we're going to do over in the top right where it says preview scene settings, go to animation and just type in idle and then that will put it into its idle animation. And then from here, we can see the hands are a bit more clenched now and it's almost like it should be holding a sword. What we're going to do is quickly pause this and then we're just going to drag our sword into place. Make sure you select your weapon hold socket and not your right hand whenever you're moving stuff. So, just drag this down a little bit, drag it over here, and then hopefully, by the looks of things, we're getting quite close. And almost there. So keep going. Personally, I think it's a bit too big as well, so what I'm also going to do is just scale this down just a little bit. Whoops. I'm just going to scale it down a little bit. Sometimes it's a bit odd to do this, but I think this is a bit more realistic. And then just continue dragging it in to the hand just like that. And whatever changes you make here will also happen later on. So don't worry um, about anything. So I would say that's pretty much in my player's hand. That looks good to me. You guys can always spend a bit more time just modifying this to get the right scale, size, rotation and everything that you're after. But for me, I am pretty happy with that. So having done that, what I'm going to do is pretty much just save this to make sure it keeps all the information that it needs. And then what we're going to do is now focus on actually creating a blueprint class so the engine knows what to spawn into the game. So create a new blueprint class and this is going to be inside of the main blueprints folder. And then we're simply going to call this with the type actor, we're going to call this weapon underscore sword and then just open this up. And then essentially all we're going to be doing is just adding in the skeletal mesh just for the appearance side of things. So go to add component and then just add a skeletal mesh. And then once again, we are going to be using the same blade as before. And that is just going to be black knight. And this is all done from the details panel where it says mesh. And that is pretty much everything. If you wanted to, you could add particle effects and other cool stuff to this. But you know, that's not something that we 100% need to do in today's video. Um, for now, we're just going to be focusing more on getting the weapon in here. 
So what we're going to do with this now then, is pretty much tell it to spawn this weapon into our engine, uh, sorry, into our game as soon as the player begins. So open up your sword character, and the reason why we're doing it in the sword character is because we don't want to give this weapon to Eve, our, you know, magic based character. So inside of here, we're going to go to the event graph. We are going to find our begin play wherever that is and for me that is over here with my heads up display stuff. Just after this you want to spawn an actor from class. With the class type set this to uh, sword underscore or weapon, sorry what is it called? <laughs> what have I called it? Weapon underscore sword. And then for the spawn transform we want to get the transform of the socket that we just set up and that's all located within the mesh in the skeletal part so drag out mesh and then just type in get socket transform and then if we type in the name of the socket we just created which was weapon hold and then hook up the return value to spawn transform it is going to spawn it exactly how we just set it up with the socket later on so if we go and test this, this should work. So if we press play, you can see now then that it spawns the weapon in the ho in you know the hand location, but it's not following the character. That's a really simple and really easy fix. So let's see if we can do this. Just pretty much we're trying to attach it to that hand as soon as it spawns. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm simply going to attach com uh, attach to component, and then with the target set this to the return value for the weapon so that's pretty much attaching this weapon to whatever we hook up into the parent the parent is simply going to be mesh and then the socket name is going to be weapon hold and then just make sure you hook this up as well and then for the location rules make sure you make sure you tell it to snap all of this stuff and that way it's going to snap directly into the weapon hold socket and it should work. So if you hit compile now, hit play, you can see we've now got the sword in the player's hand. And we can run around with this and pretty much anywhere we go the sword is going to come with us. Uh, but most importantly we have got that all set up. Now what you might want to do is just play around with some of the adjustments. Just make sure it's a little bit further down into the player's hand as it's sticking out a bit. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, it's entirely up to you. But most importantly we have got our very first weapon inside of our game. Anyway guys, that is pretty much everything for the video. Once again, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This series was made possible by you guys supporting me on Patreon. If you want to help create other series like this, then check out my Patreon page in the link in the description.